So the, the, the feds in the state say, you know, it's not really fair that we then have someone buys a half million dollar home and dies and the kids just receive that. Mm -hmm. And so they had some means of being able to pay for that. In fact, there were some people that would really believe they, that you should be required to sell that home and apply that half million dollars, spend that money down on your care before you actually qualify for benefits. But that's not what the law does. Because you might get better and you might return home. And it's not really fair for you to be left homeless if we um, made you, you know, uh, sell the home and spend all that money. So while you're in the nursing home, it's an exemption. But once you die, we're not really worried about you returning home anymore. And so Medicaid's, Medicaid law says that any participant states must rec seek a recovery against the estate of anyone that received those benefits and died in a nursing home. Now there's some exceptions for that. If they have a, da a disabled child living at home or they have a spouse living at home, then those rules don't apply. But generally speaking, the rule is that if you received benefits in the nursing home from Medicaid and then you die, Medicaid goes after your assets and your estate. About the only thing that's going to be in your estate is going to be your home. Now, an automobile might be in your estate, depending on how you titled it, because remember, that was an exempt asset. But generally speaking, that's a depreciating asset, and, and the, the, the cost of going after it may not even justify the, the, what, what's recovered. But a home generally would be. You know, homes retain their value. They go up in value. And so while we're not going to take the home from grandma, when she dies, we're going to go after her estate to recoup some of what we paid in. And that, you know, that recoupment usually is a home if they, ha if they had one. And so that's really the, the reasoning behind that, why that rule exists. And all states have it. All states are required by federal law to have a Medicaid recovery and, and to seek that. And Mississippi has a, 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 a part of the division of Medicaid that that's, that's what their job is, is Medicaid estate recovery.